How to a story you first saw here on CBS 2. Two brothers revealing what they say were years of sexual abuse at the hands of Father Michael Flagger. The priest remained silent while his attorneys denied the allegations. One day after sharing their story with CBS 2 investigators, the brothers say they just want Flagger to tell the truth. Here's CBS 2 political investigator Dana Coswell. So you thought, oh, this father, this father Mike, he's a, he's a great guy. Yes. That's what I thought. He earned your trust. Yes, he did. That was in the early 70s when this now 61-year-old man was a young choir member at Precious Blood Church on Chicago's West Side and Father Michael Flager, a seminarian there. But he claims Father Flager then used that trust to begin sexually abusing him at age 13, the first time as Flager was driving him home. Now that I think about it, the look was, you know, not to tell anyone, you know, not to say anyone, and then that's when he unzipped my pants. He doesn't want to be identified to protect families still in Chicago from any backlash, but says he couldn't carry his burden any longer. He hired attorney Eugene Hollander, who filed this sexual abuse claim with the Archdiocese January 4th. He told his older brother a few days later, who then told him Flager abused him too, beginning at age 12, often occurring in Flager's room at the rectory where he would often stay overnight. I was in bed and uh, he crawled into the same bed. Uh, this is basically the routine coming into the same bed and uh, it started with fondling. I had put this in a closet and hoped that it would stay there. Both brothers first shared their stories with me, exclusively revealing what they claim is Flager's dark side. Now they're speaking to others too. I'm not here because I want to be. I'm here because this is the right thing to do. Said the older brother during a news conference, Father Flager's attorneys say the brothers are lying. Flager's supporters. And his character and reputation has never been questioned. Insist it can't be true. And we're going to pray for those that are accusing him, yes, because man. I can tell you right now, they need an awful lot of prayer. Flager's attorneys point to a December 30th letter the younger brother sent to the popular priest where he brought up the alleged abuse. I let him know that it wasn't my fault. Then he asked Flager for $20,000, he says as proof of guilt. Now some of course would say that's blackmail or extortion potentially too. But if it was uh, blackmail or extortion, when I was in my addiction, that was the time to blackmail someone. That was the time to extort because that's when I really needed money. Flager's attorneys call it greed. What infuriates me is a lawyer saying anything about me and not knowing what happened. I was there, Mike was there. We were the only two in the room. His lawyer can say anything he wants. I wanna say this to the people who are still questioning this. All the good that he's done for the African American community, I'm not saying, I'm not taking away from that. But he also pilfered the African American community by preying on African American kids. I reached out to Father Flager's attorneys who are calling this a shakedown to request another interview. They declined Sunday. They did not respond to me today. Father Flager has not publicly addressed the allegations since being removed from St. Sabina pending an investigation three weeks ago. In the loop, Dana Kozlov, CBS 2 News. Thanks to Dana. Dana talked at length to the two men to see her original report. Go to the CBS Chicago app to watch this investigation.